Hang on. Am I even filming? I, I am filming. Okay. Here we go. Okay, welcome. Come on in. Sorry, uh, the, uh, the lawns haven't been mowed in a little while. But come on in. Normally, my pot plants would be welcoming you with like nice succulents, so they've just got a bit crispy over the summer, as you can tell. So this is where we spend most of our day. Just down in here. You can see all the little charms. There's a little thong. <laughs> I'm like a real hoarder. Having your house burned down works really well. You get rid of everything. It's like a big clean out. And you don't have to decide if it goes to the op shop, if you give it away, it's just, it's gone. day 2020 and the Victorian coastal town of Malakuta has been reduced to ashes by the black summer bushfires. We had 10,000 people in town. New Year is our busiest time so the caravan parks were full. Welcome to base camp. It's carnage. It's an experience that I hope no one else ever has to go through. I was really panicked. I didn't know whether we would get out of it alive. For a brief moment, Malacuta is in the world headlines. Los forestales de la ciudad de Malacuta. The houses, man. Get into the water. It's chaos. With thousands of tourists evacuated and 123 houses destroyed, the question being asked, is this our future? I don't want my children to ever experience that. For the locals left to rebuild their community, I'm starting to have dreams about my house. They face a long, hard journey of recovery. The mental health of this community is just plummeting. But this maverick town with a reputation for division and disagreement. If these guys were doing their job properly, we wouldn't have had this fire in the town. How can you say that? Won't rely on outsiders to fix their problems. We feel we know best about what we need. They're about to undertake a radical experiment in self-governance. You can't leave it to the bureaucracies to lead you out of this. Idiots in cities tell people in the country what they need and what they should want and what they should do. The decisions they make now will make or break the town. Whether you have a history of disagreement, you need people to have your back. The opportunity is now to build back better. How can we not grasp that? 